Welcome back, everybody. If you enjoyed the 2014 book Hockey Card Series, then you will absolutely love the sequel, Hockey Card Stories 2. My friends is out. I love when they take it in a different direction, right? See? Yeah, yeah. Author Ken Reed asks another 59 players, yeah. hockey players to be exact, what they think about one of their old trading cards, and he's going to talk about it now. He's a co-anchor of Sportsnet Central and a hockey card expert. Aficionado, Ken Reed. Good morning. That's why I wear the glasses. Yeah, I'm really smart. Some people have Esquire after their name. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it. Listen, you were here with the first book, it's a and we book loved I'm it. it away. Yeah. Amazing anecdotes, and it flew off the shelves. You couldn't keep up. It was a bestseller, so the people wanted more. The people demanded it, just like Cannonball Run 2 and Caddyshack 2. <laughs> so I came up with a sequel. I'm hoping it does better than Caddyshack 2 so far. So good, and yeah, the subjects are endless. I got a lot of potential yeah. There must be a ton of great house. stories. I, I sense a book three already, but yeah, there must exactly. be a ton of stories. I'm telling you, you guys are pressuring me into it. It depends how this one sells. You know? Okay, well, let's talk about first of all your philosophy and your love behind card collecting. You say it's not about the cards that have value as much right. as what you value. Absolutely, I I like to think there's no such thing as a common card. People can roll over tons of cards just looking for that Gretzky rookie or whatever. But I think. There's value in every card because of the stories they provide. So that's why I called these guys. There's the Gretzky rookie. Obviously, there's a Baby great story face. to it. I know Mr. Gretzky was kind enough to talk to me about it. But then, I mean, there's other stories where other cards where you just look at the card and you go, look, there's got to be something to this. I mean, I got a card of Cam Russell and he's, you know, he's got his nose packed and he's cross checking the camera and there he is right there. Well, so <laughs> give me the story behind that one. And so, what was the story behind that? The story behind this card is Cam. Uh, got the living tar beaten out of him the night before in Chicago, broke his nose, they packed his nose. Ooh. After the game, it was like, okay, thanks, uh, you're going back to Indianapolis in the minors. Gets to Indy in the morning, gets ready to go out in the ice, and they say, whoa, 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 put your uniform on, it's hockey card day. Broke Ho your nose. <laughs> hockey card day, look at me. And so, much like back in my Wilco and Byway modeling days, yeah. he just said, roll with it, baby. So he rolled with it, and by the end, he's cross-checking yes, the camera, he's the into Wilco. it. Yes, to the Wilco, Oh, yeah. Wilco. Absolutely. Nobody knows what we're talking about if they're, like, under 30 right now. Exactly. Okay. But I do it for me, Dean. I do it for me. <laughs> and you do it well. I, I want to talk about rhinoceroses. Yes. Rhinoceri? Yeah. Rhino. Rhino? Yeah. Rhinos? This is the thing. In the 90s, there were so many card companies competing for something different. So you got Dino Cicerelli, Hockey yep. Hall of Famer, and somehow he ends up with a rhinoceros on his hockey yeah, card. Yeah, why not? Why not? Naturally. It's pretty It's pretty notorious in the hockey card geek community, <laughs> of which I'm a part of. So I called Dino Cicerelli, and he goes, yeah, I figured you wouldn't want to talk about me, you know, deflecting in one of my 600 golds, but let's talk about the <laughs> rhino. So he gave me the story on how he ended up on a hockey card with a rhinoceros. It's fascinating, groundbreaking stuff that I write about. I love it. Our and kid, I, we, we also, love these stories. These we are also, the best oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, breaking news. Read all about it. Mm -hmm. Reed's having the dandy card collection a feature. dandy card dandy. collection. Dandy might be the most Picto County expression ever. Them cards ever dandy. The Reed boys had their Picto. <laughs> Because you had such an extensive, extensive collection as we a young did. one. How old were you? You were 16 for this I'm one, right? I'm 16 there. My brother's 13. And we had a story on our card collection in the evening news. So this would have been during the card boom, circa it. 1989, 1990. And my brother and I, we were into collecting before everybody else started hoarding. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of ahead of the game. So we used to sell at flea markets, set up at card shows. Adorable. And with my extra money, I'd buy more cards. Little entrepreneurs. Put that bid in on the Honus Wagner card. Oh, right? we, Can we, please we told it? Dad about mm -hmm. it. He didn't buy it. He could have had it for 35 large. <laughs> he could have been sitting pretty now. Okay. There's a million now. On an right? empire. Can we end it on Dougie Gilmore, who still owns that leather jacket? He's got the moto jacket on. Yep. He's got the high-waisted pants. Bruce yep. Springsteen, watch out right in the middle. Yep. Dougie, and, uh, Dougie still has that jacket, he told me. So yeah, he, he does. Was, he was kind enough to participate in the book. Again, Doug Gilmore in there, Eric Lindros, uh, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Olaf Colts, he's eating a hot dog in one of his cards. <laughs> So it's Again, a lot of fun. Love it. Naturally, they have to eat too, okay? Thank exactly. you so much. Pick it up. It's called Hockey Card Series 2. Perfect It'll be a Christmas great read stocking for you. stuffer. Thank Merry Christmas, you. Ken. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Always a pleasure, man. Merry Ken Christmas. It is great. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Stella. <laughs> yeah. It's she's, not small. She's in the, the maternity. Did we tell you she's in the maternity ward? Oh, which is so perfect as she's expecting her bundle in 2019. <laughs> there you go, 